Welcome back to the channel and today we're talking Transformers and we're talking Bumblebee the movie and the profits made by Hasbro. Now this is really positive news when it comes to the Transformers live action universe hearing that Hasbro is doing very well but before we get into it I want to make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you stay up to date with all my Transformers content. Now before the release of Bumblebee, Hasbro were not doing too well financially. They were hammered with a 61 million in costs from the bankruptcy of Toys R Us. And in that year, they made a loss of $112.5 million. Whoa. However, after the release of Bumblebee, Hasbro were able to recoup that loss. And not just that, they made a profit. Bumblebee made $470 million worldwide according to the box office and the box office success of Bumblebee drove sales of its Transformers action toys putting the company's shares on track for the best day in more than two decades. So this is massive for Hasbro and their shares were up 15.5% and that was higher than their rival Mattel, which only rose by 4%. So huge positives for Hasbro in terms of growth coming off of the back of Bumblebee and those toy sales and the grossing profits of the movie. This is fantastic news for Transformers, Transformers fans, and of course the Transformers live action universe because Hasbro took a risk and now they are seeing the rewards of that risk. They brought on board Travis Knight, they focused on a very different Transformers film, and they risked moving away from the Michael Bay Bayverse. Now we've known for a long time that this has been well overdue, but Hasbro were unwilling to pull the trigger, probably because it was much safer to stick with Bay because he had made a profit with these big blockbusters in the past. However, after the demise of Transformers The Last Night, it was definitely worth Hasbro having a go. And contrary to what Lorenzo de Bonaventura has been saying in recent months, it sounds like with this profit, and of course with the reception that Bumblebee got, Hasbro are not going to stop and Hasbro are not going to revert back to the Bayverse. They're going to continue to take things forward off the back of Bumblebee. And I'm very happy and I'm very glad about this because there has been a lot of debate whether or not the Bayverse will return. It does sound like now Lorenzo de Bonaventura has finally got in line and he is on board with what Paramount and Hasbro want, which is to invest more in a Bumblebee style Transformers live action universe rather than going back to his buddy Michael Bay. It's taken time, it has been confusing, but these details about the profits made and the rise in stocks and shares in terms of Hasbro and their profits growing more and more and making up for a loss the year before. This is all positive signs and it definitely means that Hasbro are not going to go back and instead are going to go forward with what we've seen with Bumblebee and the future of the live action universe. It was also very smart from Hasbro to place the film at Christmas time because that boosted the figure sales. That's the reason why they got that increase because people were going out, buying the figures off the back of Bumblebee and getting them wrapped up for Christmas. And it was a family orientated film and I thought Christmas time was the perfect time for the release of this movie. When I saw it in the cinema, it had that feel good vibe, that sort of vibe you want around Christmas time. So the execution of the marketing was spot on from Hasbro. They got this right. They took a risk and fair play, they have been rewarded. So I guess the big question now is where does Hasbro and Paramount go next? There has been talk of a Bumblebee 2, which will be a buddy movie featuring Optimus Prime. And there's been talk of one other Transformers film, a bigger, Transformers film which will not relate to the events of Transformers The Last Night or The Bayverse. What do you think that movie should and could be? 
I want to know your opinions in the comment section below because again, Hasbro are going to have to roll the dice. Yes, maybe the Bumblebee Buddy movie will be playing it safe a little bit, but if they get Travis Knight back and they get Hayley Steinfeld and that similar cast, I can't see how that won't be a success. But this other movie, well, that will be a risk because there'll be no Michael Bay attached to it, it will be unknown territory, and it just depends where they want to go and will the fandom agree with it. The options at the moment are a Beast Wars movie, an Optimus Prime movie, um, there's other options out there of a bigger Transformers film, so it would be like a Transformers 6, but it wouldn't continue on from the last night, so it may be set in a different time with more Transformers, or it could be something completely different, maybe a focus on Cybertron, maybe a focus on the Decepticons. I want to get your views and opinions of where you think the live action universe should go next, because that next step is going to be very important to keep the fandom interested and keep up this growth in profits because let's just say they did step back and they did something a bit more like the Bayverse that's only going to alienate the audience that they've just regained and that's the big problem at the moment yes profits have been made but they've now got to continue and be consistent with it and if you take a look at Marvel and how they've done things They've always gone from strength to strength. Every movie, yes, there are some of the Marvel movies that haven't quite been a hit, but they've always done very well at the box office. And of course, they've always led on to something, for example, a big Avengers movie. And that's what Transformers needs to do. It needs to take those steps and those strides forward gradually to get towards where when they do have this huge big blockbuster movie, that people are all in at that point. They are invested. It's not just a case of like with the Bayverse, big blockbuster after big blockbuster, and then you go there and ultimately you are let down at the cinema. So I'm very intrigued to see where they go next. And I wanna get your views and see what you think would be best. One, to keep the profit going. What do you think would gauge the most interest? And two, simply, what do you wanna see? I think if Hasbro wanted to engage the audience more and get them involved, they should do the buddy movie because I think that's safe, but also do an Optimus Prime Origins movie which has no ties to the Bumblebee universe. So you're doing a bit like what DC have done with the Joker movie. You're taking a Joker in a different time so it doesn't tie to anything like a DCEU. That's what it should be with the Optimus Prime movie. Focus it at a time, maybe towards when Prime was becoming uh, a Prime, and go from there. If you did that, that would work. It could be a standalone film. Then you don't have to worry about any sort of uh, conclusion moving on to something else. Then, of course, if that's a success, you have the option then. Do you then want to focus on another Transformer, maybe Megatron? maybe someone else where you tell their story or do you then start thinking about building towards um, a more bigger Transformers film? I think the bigger Transformers film should come after the Bumblebee Buddy movie um, and we have an Optimus Prime standalone film to the side of that then you go and look for that bigger film and that would tie into that Bumblebee universe that's the way I'd like to see it but it's up to you. I want to hear from you. Make sure you get involved in the comments, but this is very positive. And that's the main thing because we've had quite a lot of uncertainty for quite some time. Then there's been the concern that, oh, well, Hasbro are going to go back to the Bayverse because yes, Bumblebee was a critical success and it did gross a profit, but it felt like it wasn't enough to appease Paramount and Hasbro with the way Lorenzo de Bonaventura was talking, which is completely wrong. Hasbro are happy. It was Lorenzo de Bonaventura who kept voicing, maybe it's time to go back to the Bayverse, have a little bit more Bayhem. It was him alone. And so now we're getting the feedback that profits are being made, that reaffirms what Hasbro said, that they had no intention of going back. 
And these are all very positive signs to see a continuation of Transformers, how we've recently seen it on the big screen. So let me know what you think. I'm very interested to hear from you on this. This is positive. This is exciting. This is the sort of news that we want to hear. And it is uh, to the point. It's not wishy-washy like we've heard from Lorenzo de Bonaventura. One minute he's thinking this, the next minute he's thinking that. These are facts. The profits and the numbers don't lie. So get involved and all that's left to be said is please rate, comment and subscribe. What do you think should be next for the Transformers live action universe? Could it be Beast Wars? Could it be a Prime Solo movie? Have your say. And this is Dolzinski signing out.